Hi guys, and this is the last in the mini series of um, Corgi type vehicles that I have in the collection. Um, I do have two more Formula One cars if you'd like me to review them. It's, it's up to you, I'm not fussed. Um, so, yeah, this is a double pack and it has the um, Ford Capri and the uh, van, which I've already reviewed, so I'm not going to really pay too much attention to that one. It's all about the um, Capri. So, as you can see, it's a nice. And if it was not his box, um, yeah, it's a little bit um, sun bleached, is that the word I think? Um, for the simple reason it was against my window when I did my mum's. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of information there about the sitcom. If you'd like to read that, feel free. Um, so, yeah, here is some information on the episode that the um. Ford Capri first appears in Only Fools and Horses. It is called He Ain't Heavy, He's My Uncle. And it was Series 7, Episode 5, um, which was aired in um, on the 27th of January, um, 1991. And it roughly got about 17 million viewers. Um, Del Boy brought the car off Boise, who was going to scrap it. It is a Ford Capri um, from 1977. Um, Boise was going to scrap it and... Um, Changed his mind when when Dell bought it, well, obviously bought it, and um, Rodney um, refers to it as the Pratmobile. Some information now on um, the Ford Capri itself. It's obviously um, it was manufactured by Ford Europe. They were produced between 1969 and 68. Designer is Tom um, Philip T. Clark, and the class is a mid-size coupe. Um, and then its successor car, the next car was the Ford Puma. Some information on the actual model itself, like the one that was actually, you know, it's, it's a Mark II um, Capri. Um, they were manufactured by Ford of Europe. They were also called the Mercury Capri. They were produced between 1974 and 78. They were assembled in places like Dagenham. Belgium and Germany. I can't pronounce the foreign names. I do apologise. Uh, the layout is a FR layout. Uh, the class is a medium-sized sports car. The body type is a hatchback coupe. And the car after it in the range was a Ford Capri Mark III. So yeah, guys, that's it out of the box. Um, it's a pretty nice, look, um, pretty nice model. We'll start with the underframe, shall we? Um, turn it around and you see there it's green and um, corgi um, everything's moulded <coughs> you've got three separate screws there to take the shell the, the body I think and the chassis um, yeah like this down there it's um, only falls and horses it was in the 90s and uh, I think it's a series 6 going by that I'm not, not too sure I don't know much about this sort of stuff uh, the doors don't open, um, but you know the interior is pretty nice. Um, actually, very nice. We'll start with the back. I think this is correct. Um, undo it, and um, it's quite nice inside. Don't think that moves up. Uh, it does. Oh, it does. There you go, nothing much in there, you put a suitcase in there or anything dodgy. Um, yeah, I believe the number plate is correct, I do believe that, I could be wrong. Um, but you can see that window mirrors, they're all there, yeah, they're all there, that does bend. Um, yeah, on the, uh, in the TV series it had like a hand coming out the boot and all the inside was all furry. I will try and find a picture. Of it, um, the front looks, you know, pretty nice. It's not a bit stale, if you if you know what I mean. Um, nothing works, nothing works at all. And uh, non-plate again. I've just been just stuck on a bit of paper. I'll try to get inside because I don't want to break it. There we go. Um, don't know how much of this you can see. So. So yeah, um, 
that's pretty nice. That, is, that, that, that that's nice. Um, yeah, I, I can make out the stuff in there. If you lot can, I'm um, sorry if you can't. I do try. So yeah, that's the engine. Pretty nice. Um, purple window wipers. So yeah, guys. Overall, it's a, a pretty nice um, set. Like I said on this video, I was only concentrating on the car because I've done the van in the previous videos, which is down below in the description, along with the Heartbeat uh, Greengrass set. And the only rules and horses Jolly Boys out in Boss, um, which I really like. Really like this set overall is a pretty nice set. Um, Worth the money I paid, I think I paid a tenner for it. Um, it's worth that easily. So yeah guys, uh, any questions, any queries, uh, please don't hesitate in getting in contact with me. And I will do my best to answer them. Um, thank you for uh, this trip, with. Uh, thank you for the journey with me. It's been very um, pleasant and very nice, I've enjoyed it. And um, if you'd like to see any others I'll get, I'll... I'll um, do a video beforehand to show what I've got and you say yes or no. Uh, like I said, I've got two F1 cars if you'd like me to do that. Um, so yeah guys, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to say is thank you very much for your support and um, bye.